you're included in this and we could see it extend into Holly Springs. So folks in Holly Springs, get ready. Get your severe weather plan together and be prepared for the threat for severe weather moving through there and at the very least, very strong winds with this. But your tornado warning for Tate County, Senatobia, Interstate 55 and points to the east of that. That's going to be in place until 930 this evening. So this whole line slowly pushing on through the coverage area and that is being followed by very cold air rapidly pouring in behind this. That live picture you see right there, that's Justin Jaggers. I want to check in with Justin um, who is driving east, I do believe, and was punching through some of the heaviest precipitation we saw coming through. Justin, tell us what you are and where you are and what you've seen so far. Well, Ron, right now we are in the storm tracker. We are heading west on 240 towards Jackson. We're about to approach the 240-385 split. And here's what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of extra traffic that is slowing down as a result of this precipitation uh, that is hitting the ground. And when we were approaching from uh, East Parkway to Sam Cooper, we saw a lot of ponding. You're seeing a little bit of flash flooding in, in that midtown area. So if you don't have to travel right now, you need to stay at home. So if unless you absolutely have to get out, just stay put, you know, right now, especially with those warnings in place and, and like you mentioned earlier, the tornado warnings and everything. So the roadways are not really a great place to be right now on this Saturday night. We just actually passed an accident uh, just north of 240, uh, north of Walnut Grove on 240, keeping an eye on what's going on there. So, I mean, we're seeing, so, uh, we're showing, seeing a lot of extra um of uh, extra traffic that is slowing down as a result of this. We are heading east right now because that's where uh, some of the bigger activity is taking place. We're, you're taking a look at our uh, dash cam right now uh, on 240 West. So just if you have to get out, take it slow, give yourself a few extra minutes. But if you don't have to get out on the roadways, just, just stay off the roadways right now. So that's your best bet right now. And, Ron, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. We're going to be keeping an eye on things on the roadways. But for now, in Memphis, Justin Jaggers, WMC Action News 5. All right, thank you very much, Justin. Be very careful out there. I hear thunder here in Midtown right now. Heavy rain still pouring through. I do believe the more significant threat for severe weather has moved east of the city of Memphis. Although thunder, lightning still occurring around the Memphis Metro, the greatest threat now is along this leading edge that's moving on into northeastern Mississippi. So that will move into Marshall, Benton, Tippa, out.